so welcome back guys to another video and today I thought I'd go ahead and do a compilation of some awesome rare weapons that you can find in Fallout 4. You know, instead of doing them as single videos or as separate videos, I thought you guys would enjoy it a little bit more if I did them kind of into a compilation and that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here today. So if you do go on to enjoy this video or do want to see more compilations similar to this one and maybe like a top 10 rare weapons or another top 5, be sure to let me know by leaving a like on the video. Your support of course is always greatly appreciated on the channel. And let's get straight into this. So the first weapon I'm going to be showing you guys today is a unique version of the combat shotgun known as Le Fusil Terribles. Hopefully I'm saying that right there. But this is actually located over at Libertalia. I'll bring up the map location for you guys as well uh, to have exactly where this is located. And you want to make sure that you come prepared to this fight because there's going to be a ton of raiders there that you will need to take out. Now the approach that I ended up taking with this is I ended up sitting back with a sniper rifle and I'm picking them off with that bonus sneak damage as well uh, which definitely comes in handy you know if you do have a sniper rifle this is something I definitely suggest uh, you guys do as well and you want to look out for the guy at the top with a missile launcher if he hits you with that thing you are pretty much done for but when you take out the majority of the raiders on the ship and make your way through the ship to the top uh, to the captain's cabin inside of the captain's cabin right in front of you the shotgun will be sitting there waiting go ahead and pick it up and that is your first row weapon of this compilation so for the next weapon, we're going to be looking for the Furious Power Fist. This one is fairly easier and less of a hassle to obtain than the previous weapon. And all you have to do is come to this location on the map uh, over at Swan's Pond. And upon arrival, you'll see like a behemoth's head sticking out of the ground. If you go ahead and shoot that, you'll actually trigger the behemoth to spawn uh, known as Swan. Or you can simply just wait around the area and uh, he will end up coming up and fighting you anyway. Upon killing Swan the Behemoth, he'll have the legendary and rare weapon known as the Furious Power Fist. Once again, a fairly simple and easy one to obtain, and if you're a fan of melee weapons in Fallout 4, it's definitely one that I suggest that you guys get. For the third weapon in the compilation today, we have a rare and unique version of the sniper rifle known as the Reaper 2. And this is genuinely a great sniper. If you're someone out there who likes sniping or, you know, is on the lookout for a good sniper, um, this is definitely the one for you. Now, to get this, you want to go ahead and come to the Rook family house. This is literally located just north of Salem, uh, right here on the map. If you just literally go to the most north area, you'll come across this house. And upon arriving at the house or discovering it, you'll get these side quest from Barney himself. Now, the side quest is fairly simple, just take out the Milux outside of his house. Upon doing that, he'll let you down into his basement and give you another side quest. The next side quest is fairly simple again, you just have to go around the area and uh, pretty much power up his turrets and when you do that and go back to him he will then open the door for you and in that room on the table is exactly where you will find the Reaper 2. Once again this is all around a great sniper in general and if you like snipers in Fallout definitely one for you guys. For the next weapon in the compilation this is going to be on the side quest known as Tradecraft. Now to get this side quest you do have to get to the railroad headquarters. Now that is part of a main quest line so without spoiling too much um, I will leave a link down in the description down below if you don't know how to get there uh, that will show you guys how you can get there but when you eventually get to the railroad headquarters you want to speak to Deacon and he will then give you the side quest known as Tradecraft. Upon completing a few tasks in this halfway through the quest itself, you'll be given the option to either take the sewers route or the full frontal assault route and you want to make sure that you take the sewers way. As soon as you enter the sewers and take out all of these synths in the area and get to the end of the area pretty much, this will be the end of the mission and upon completing it, you will get the rare pistol known as the Deliverer. As you can see, this is silent, so it's one of those pistols that I would take around uh, if you're a very stealthy person out there in Fallout and I like to take the stealth approach a lot, but in general, pretty awesome rare weapon and for you collectors, uh, once again, this is another location for you guys. And for the final rare weapon today, we have Pikmin's Blade. This is located right here on the map at Pikmin's Gallery, as you can see. And what you want to do is you want to make your way through the whole of the gallery. There's going to be a bunch of raiders there that you will need to take out. Uh, you'll have to go up the stairs, and then when you go up the stairs, there'll be a hole that you can go through, uh, which will take you all the way down to the very low levels of the building itself. Now, when you get to the very bottom, there'll be a boss raider that you have to take out, known as Slab, uh, and a few more raiders around it. And when you take them out, you'll then need to speak to a guy known as Pikmin. 
will then give you a key as a reward for helping him and uh, pretty much making sure that the raiders don't actually kill him. When you receive the key, make your way back into the building once again. Uh, this time, take a left, look at the picture on the wall exactly where I do, and you can actually remove the picture, and behind that picture, there's going to be a safe. Use the key that Pikmin gave you to open up the safe, and inside of that safe, you'll find the rare and, I guess, legendary, you know, knife known or blade known as Pikmin's Blade. And that is the final rare weapon. This is one of those weapons that I would go around for stealth kills with. Once again, it's got that, you know, the extra bonus there of having uh, the bleed damage which is always awesome and in general it's just a great weapon to collect I guess in Fallout 4. And that pretty much wraps it up for this compilation video guys. If you did enjoy this video or did find it helpful at any point be sure to let me know by leaving a like on the video. Your support of course is always greatly appreciated on the channel and be sure to let me know down in the comment section down below do you prefer it when I compilate these rare weapons into one video or do you prefer it when I do them separately and I may do something like a huge one if you guys do want to see that like a top 10 or something uh, in the coming days ahead. Quick plans for the future for Fallout 4 videos. I do have a Fallout 4 top 10 Easter eggs video planned up for the weekend. And of course, many, many more rare weapon guides and legendary armor guides and all that kind of good stuff uh, coming your guys' way as well for Fallout 4. But once again, hopefully you did enjoy. Subscribe if you guys are new around and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.